Hello, hello, hello to my Scorpios. I want to do a special reading for you guys today. I want to talk about your character traits and how you see yourself and how other people see you. And this is for the high vibrating Scorpios as well as the low vibrating Scorpios. And depending on the environment that you're in, you could be teetering in between. So let's let's jump right into it. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with Scorpio special reading. Um, we're, we're talking about the high and low vibrating um, Scorpios uh, and the impact that you may have had on other people's lives. And we're going to just do a special reading as well. Okay, so let's get into it. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. This is for my Scorpios. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, and for my cross watchers, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. If this, if after hearing this message, if it resonates with you at all, uh, like, share, and subscribe. If you're a cross watcher who knows a Scorpio, please share this message with them. Okay? So universe, what do we have for Scorpios? Give me some information about like what Scorpios are going through right now. Just any general information about Scorpios. Okay, the star card jumped out first. Wow. So let's go. Hmm. Okay. All right. The first card that jumped out, um, Scorpio, is the star card. I'm not surprised. Okay. So let's get into, like, um, the um, high vibrating and the low vibrating. Scorpios. So the high vibrating Scorpios are very focused, they're brave, they're loyal, they're ambitious, and they are filled with faith, right? You have faith in your abilities. Like um, a lot of Scorpios that I know are very driven and highly educated. They are um, extremely focused. Like it could be total chaos going on around them, lots of drama, lots of so and so, but they're focused on their goal and they have faith that they're going to finish that thing that they started, whatever it is. A lot of them are very brave. Um, they just don't, a lot of them that I know just don't operate in fear. Like, um, they're just courageous. Like, they're just the bold ones. Like, I'm not afraid to speak up for myself kind of thing. But yeah, so I'm not surprised that the star card um, came out because many of you are stars in your own right. Many of you are pioneers, like in your family, like maybe the first person to uh, receive a doctorate degree, or maybe you're the first person to buy a house or the first person to do a lot of things, you know, Scorpios. The... Um, some of the lower vibrating, and again, when I say low vibrating, because I low vibrating frequency i know that a lot of things like childhood things could have determined you know and and your current environment could dictate a lot of things so if you're working a job where it's just toxic in a hostile environment um your star people are going to try to constantly dim your star you know they know you're a star they know that you're highly intelligent they know you know certain things about you it's just undeniable um, so they're going to try to hide that star. They're going to try to dim that star, you know. Um, but look at this, the eight of pentacles. This is money. You have a lot of gifts and talents. And let's see. I'm not necessarily, it could be in the arts because this is a person who's painting. But you're also a hustler. Like you're willing to do whatever it takes to get to your goals, Scorpio. Um, the The characteristics of... The character traits of a low vibrating Scorpio is that they are jealous, that they are possessive, that they're very secretive, that they're dominating, and um, that they're restful. Um, but this is not you, Scorpio, not the ones that's listening to this. You guys, this is your, this is the many gifts that you have, whether it's, you know, you are, you have degrees in education, whether you're a singer, whether you're a dancer, you have so many gifts, but that is your key to money. 
And so we know that the pentacles is for like the, um, is the signs associated with that are the earth signs. And that's your journey to money and wealth. That's the Taurus, the Virgo, Capricorn, right? But this is you. You are laser focused. Look how focused you are on your goals. And like I said, you're a hustler. You're going to get out. You're going to get it however you need to get it. But you're doing it the right way. Okay, and so what I need you guys to do, Scorpios, because you are a star, what I need you to do, Scorpios, is to stay focused, to like really, really, really stay focused. <laughs> like, I guess I can't say that enough. Really, really, really stay focused. The only time that a Scorpio may seem to get jealous like the low vibrating um, energy sometimes is when you guys are looking at what someone else is doing or someone else is getting, you know, extra praise for something. And it's always not, not that you're jealous of them getting extra praise. It is because you have taken your eyes off of what you're doing, you know, that you turn around and focus. But the um, star card is an Aquarius card. It's, it's attached to the Aquarius. That's for healing, inspiration, and serenity. Okay. But you are a star, Scorpio. The magician card. This is a, um, this is when, hmm. Okay. See all of these gifts you have. First of all, Scorpio, know that you're a star. Know that you stand out. That's first and foremost. Like you, you've been standing out since birth, okay? So even if you were in a family of people who did not sharpen your gifts or didn't tell you um, that you were a star, um, that's okay. I'm here to tell you today. And the reason why you've, get, you've gotten resistance in places where you've worked is because there's something about you that stands out no matter what. You cannot dim a star. Matter of fact, a star shines even brighter in darkness. So if you're in a toxic environment, you always stand out, Scorpio. Like no matter what, you're going to stand out. <laughs> and even if people can't pinpoint what it is about you, they know it's something about you that's just illuminating a room. But it's all the gifts that you have. Look at this right here, the magician card. This is <clears throat> um, showing your true potential. You've manifested some things. This is um, attached to the planet Mercury, which is attached to the zodiac signs Virgo and Gemini. And so this is you with this infinite wisdom and knowledge. Like I said, some of you are the first in your family to um, achieve certain goals that you set for yourself. Like maybe you're the first one in your family to get a PhD or a doctorate in some area um, and <clears throat> some specialty. Um, or maybe you're the first person to, you know, get a recording contract or first person, the first person to do something. But look, even if you don't, even if there's something inside of you that thinks that you're not ready, you're ready because you have all the tools that you need. This infinite wisdom here, you're holding all of this inside of you, all of the tool, these tools inside of you that will come, that will appear at the moment that you need them, the exact moment that you need them, they're going to appear, okay? The Six of Cups card. Um, this is talking about duality. This is talking about like um, um, familiarity. This is talking about innocence, like something new, something um, you're embarking on something new. But if it feels like you've been there before, if that makes sense, like in your former life, something, it feels nostal like nostalgic, like... Um, let me see. Okay. Certain smells, for instance, will remind you of your childhood. Let's say you are driving along and you drive past a cookout or something or a barbecue and you smell hot dogs or something. And you may be a vegan, 
but you may you smell hot dogs on the on the grill. It's going to take your mind back to a time when you were a kid, if this is your story, when you were a kid and your family used to grill, you know, maybe go to the park and, 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 and barbecue or cookout or something on the grill where, and it took you back to a time of having fun and there was water involved and, you know, you and your cousins or siblings were playing kickball or whatever, you know, um, volleyball or whatever, um, but that's what this kind of sort of represents is something in your your um your gifts that you have that you didn't fully tap into but it's going to make you nostalgic to kind of sort of think back to a time when you were younger maybe you took piano lessons or something and you just kind of sort of just kind of you know decided uh, this isn't really working out for me. You know, you know how kids are. If, any, if you have kids, you know, they want to practice for, it's like you have to make them, you have to discipline them or teach them the, the benefits of being disciplined. And I don't mean discipline as in like physical harming your kids. I just mean like teaching them the importance of being disciplined, you know, with their arts and things like that. And so... It's something about you, Scorpio, now in your life where this is taking you back to a time with of all of the things that you picked up along the way. That's what this is. Look at this Princes of Pentacles here. This person's life, you are, your thirst for knowledge is like really on 10. Like, um, again, let me go back to this. You were born a star. You have so many gifts in you, Scorpio, um, but now you want to sharpen those gifts. You have all of this in your toolbox, right? So let's say you haven't played the piano in 20 years. You sit down at the piano and all of a sudden it was just like you were sitting there. Your piano teacher was sitting next to you with the ruler in hand. Those of you guys have taken piano lessons with your piano teacher with the ruler in the hand. And all of a sudden you just start playing like, you just never skipped a beat. Or let's say like when you first learned how to ride a bike, you may have not ridden, a, you've been on a bike in like 15 or 20 years. Um, and then you go to get on a bike because some kids may challenge you. And then all of a sudden you're riding like you, like you just never skipped a beat. And that's what this is. Okay. And because you tapped into those gifts and because you tapped into that toolbox, and because you remember a time where things were nostalgic for you, that's where your money is. That's where your money is. Look, look at the vibrant colors. Look at the strength around you. The nine of pentacles. Okay, you guys have a lot of gifts. Masculine, feminine energy, a lot of gifts. And I'm telling you, during this time of... Um, during this time of like the COVID-19 where there's social distancing and all this other stuff going on, a lot of people are retapping into their creative side. Like, especially like if you're teleworking, you don't have to physically go into the office with all the hustle and bustle of traffic. Maybe you pick back up your flute again. That was one of the gifts that I, I mean, I'm sorry, that was one of the instruments that I learned how to play in, um, in middle school. Um, but I don't think if I picked up a flute today that it would, I could play the flute. <laughs> but anyway, that's not your story, Scorpio. We're not talking about me. We're talking about you. That's not my story, Scorpio. I'm quite sure that if I picked up the flute today, I couldn't play it. Um, but it was just like, it's something having to deal with the arts, you know, and it has something to do with your gifts, um, your creative side. Um, more specifically your creative side. So this is this is where your money is, okay? And like I said, no matter what you've gone through, no matter what you've accomplished, these gifts that you have right here is what you really, really enjoy. This is something you really have fun at. You may not see the money in it, but like I said, a lot of people are coming out of this COVID-19 whenever this all of this is going to end, but people are coming out new people like like a new attitude the song that's coming to mind is patty labelle's new attitude um but a lot of people are coming out brand new i mean some people are you know 
during this this time people are working out you know they're investing in uh, learning a new task a new skill they're sharpening what they already have let's pull an oracle card for you and let's see what this says But yeah, I just wanted to share with you Scorpios, um, you know, because most of the time people attach negative experiences to relationships. And so we all do it. You know, if you if you were married to somebody who was low uh, vibrating at a low frequency and I don't care how positive you were or how positive a person you are, how bubbly or whatever you are. If you stay around a negative person long enough, you're going to be contaminated, you know, by them. But so that's why I wanted to do this special, you know, um, reading. Let's see what this card says. Destiny. Oh, my goodness. When the student is ready, this I want you guys to see. Destiny. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. This says, honored and humbled. We are all entrusted with the human legacy, the opportunity to generate light, peace, love, and beauty in the magnificent garden of Eden, Mother Earth. Each of us is born with a destiny, a purpose. I want to put this out here. You're a star, Scorpio. Uh, each of us is born with a destiny, a purpose written before we even took our first breath. It is the unique thread that we contribute to the whole of life, but we must always be in a state of becoming. Though we cannot change what we are, we are always who we're always changing who we are. We promote our potential into the actual and seek the wisdom of others along the way. Do you have a mentor or a teacher? Do you recognize the wealth of lived experience around you that the living as well as of your, that of your ancestors? You are never alone. Great spirit has been with you all along. If you can be anything you desire, what does that look like? What makes your unique light shine the brightest? You're a star. That's what it is. Um, find the wild ones meet. Find where the wild ones meet. That timeless realm of spirit and love from which we are all born. All it takes is pure silence and an open heart. Let's see what the moon card has for you, Scorpio. All right, let's see. Adjustments are required. Adjustments are required. Let's put this up here. Which moon is this? A third quarter moon. Let's see. Adjustments are required. Yeah, you guys, like I said, are a star. Um, and like I said, a lot of I don't think this is going to be hard for the Scorpio either to like really tap into like that artistic, that artistic, um, those gifts. And it's not just one gift. It's actually several gifts. Um, I don't think that's going to be difficult for you guys at all, because as I said before, one of your pros and your um, character traits are that you guys are brave, you know, but, hey, that's all you need. <laughs> You have the skill set. You're all, you're just brave. It's just a matter of um, it's just a matter of sharpening, you know, your skills. Um. So what I would say to you in regards to this particular card, the third quarter moon. Let me see if I can move this closer. The third quarter moon. I want to slip that right there because it's kind of tilts over, guys. So let me see if I can maybe bend this a little bit. But this. This up. third quarter moon um i want you guys to just reevaluate your situation um you have you have a lot of gifts to give people so this can go anywhere for you okay i don't get for scorpios that you guys are necessarily unhappy with your in your current situation as it relates to work um, but I can say that something is out of balance, like you may be the first to do something, but 
there's more out there for you to do to, to put your life in perfect balance for you, if that makes any sense to you. This is what I'm getting for you, Scorpio. But you guys are a star, and you have everything that you need to be to start the next chapter of your life. And that's what I'm getting, you know, from you guys, for you guys. Thanks again for joining. This has been a, a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Rising. Um, if you are a cross watcher, again, welcome. Thank you. If you like this reading, I please, I encourage you to please share it with other Scorpios. Um, and again, I thank you for supporting my page. Thank you so much. Bye.